Okay, so now we're going to look at actually getting some data on our homepage here. Um, we spent a lot of time just um, with you know scene setting and uh, getting the basics set up for our blog. Um, now we're going to look at actually getting some data from Gatsby into um, into our blog. Um, but um, before we do that, um, I think we're going to need to commit our code from the last uh, video. So uh, apologies. Um, I'll try and do this at the end of each video uh, from now on. But for uh, just for this, we're going to uh, import our uh, star component dependencies. Um, and that and then um, add basic layout okay and uh, one other thing I noticed as well is that um, we could possibly do a bit of syntax highlighting around this so we're going to look for star components Yes, Scott, typing. So I'm going to go with um, not snippets. Uh, what syntax highlighting? Our components. Syntax. Mm. No. Um. Okay. I thought there was um, syntax syntax add-in for star components. Oh, here it is. It's all the way down here. Uh, syntax highlight for star components. Okay, there's this one. Um, better install this, and then we should see um, some highlighting around our CSS we're putting into our app styles now. Cool, cool. Um, so, oops. Here, let's get um, our posts showing on our page here. So, let's go and take a look at our GraphQL Explorer here. Um, and now we've got MDX installed. We should just be able to say uh, all MDX. Um, we want to get the nodes um, and um, are we? where are we down here? We can get the uh, ID, um, the excerpt, um, and we, yeah, we want to use this prune length here to uh, 250 characters, and then we also want a front meta title, title, and date. Um, the published is um, basically what we're going to use to filter out stuff for um, when, when we're sort of working on our um, our blog posts, but we don't want to push them to the site. We can use this published flag. So let's take a look at this. See if we can run this query. Okay, cool. So that's um, uh, this is our three posts now we've got. So. We need to um, use this query in um, in Gatsby. So to do that, um, we're going to um, put that into um, our index.js file. Um, so a layout, we're going to basically use um, Gatsby's GraphQL component, which does uh, our Gatsby um, queries at runtime. So um, if I could just do um, import uh, GraphQL from Gatsby here. Okay, and then uh, this is the uh, convention which everyone goes with now is uh, export const. Uh, query um, and this is going to equal the GraphQL and we're going to put this in back ticks here and we're going to want to have our query here um, 
into um, our index component here. Um, but just one thing before we do this, um, let's just close this or get back in. Oh, there we go. Explore. Toggle it from that. Um, if we take a look at our um, posts here, um, they're not in the order we want them in. So third, second, um, hello world. Um, we're going to want to have them in um, descending order. Um, so to do that, we're going to need to add in a filter on OMDX and a sort, um, well, basically a sort. Um, so that is going to be um, in an object, do control space, I get fields, and then that will be, we want us to do it on the front matter. Um, Colon fields. Okay, I want to do it by date and then um, and then that's going to be side here order um, descending. Um, and if you recall, um, I also mentioned we're going to want to filter out ones which are published and which are not. So same sort of syntax again, it's the front meta and um, it's the published. <clears throat> and it's gonna be equals true. Cool. Um, so that should then um, give us our third post at the top here, but then also filter out anything um, if it's not published or not. So let's just go to um, our posts, um, second post, false, save that, and we run our um, GraphQL query, and we notice we just get the two back which are published. So uh, let's undo this, save that, go back over to our index query, uh, sorry, index, our homepage, let's call it our homepage, and we're going to want to take this and basically have it in here, but I think we need to do name it query. Um, I saw sites index query. That's gonna be in some curlies, and then I think I'll put in too many curly braces now. Get that one, that one, and hit save. Yeah, oh, and good. Prisia is doing his thing. Okay, cool. Um, well, I haven't actually gone into uh, Prettier, but this is Prettier is one of the um, one of the extensions I have installed. I've um, got a really sort of basic um, setup here just for for these videos. Um, but I'll go through the Prettier config now briefly. Um, this is depreciated now. So uh, my Prettier, you don't have to use this. You can use um, good old fashioned. Uh, editing, but um, I just find it saves a lot of time. So this is basically my um, my prettier settings. I'm just gonna um, oops close them, save it, close that window, close that, and uh, get back on with what we're trying to do for our posts here. Um, so we have this filter and this data, and then we want to get that onto our main page here. And we're going to do that with um, the data, which is going to come in from our uh, Gatsby query now. So pass in, structure out the data from here, and then we're going to interpolate some JavaScript in here. And data um, got all MDX, which is this part. Um, oops. Copy paste there for the win. Um, and then we're going to go via the nodes of that. And we want to map over those. <clears throat> cool. Um, so what do we want from here? We want to destructure out our excerpt. And uh, the front meta. And we'll work on those um, in 
in our loop here. So just so I get the syntax right in my own head, um, we're going to do map getting out that. So we need to have um, for our return from here, um, and then in here is where we're going to do our JavaScript as a return. And that's going to be um, just try and get the um, the syntax right for now. On a H1, and that's going to be the front matter title. Uh, let's save that. Let's see what we get. Cool. So third, second, hello world. Um, we also want. Um, the date, let's just copy these down here, shift alt and uh, the down arrow, um, but we're going to have these in a P tag. And it's going to be the front meta date. Not data, not data. And then we're also going to want to have the excerpt in a P, uh, not in a array, Scott. Um, excerpt. We'll hit save. Cool. So we have our third post, second post. So that's nice. Um, we've sort of iterated over the data we've got here, querying with all MDX, but we don't really have um, a great deal more than that at the moment. So um, we need to um, have our pages built up for each one of these blog posts now. Um, and we're going to do that in the next video where we go over slugs and paths.